Hello everybody, welcome to a Rome review. My name is Thomas. Happy Friday. Hope everybody's having a great time. Blessings to you all. Uh, today I am going to talk about two clones of uh, the original Tom Ford Oud Wood. Oud Wood. <laughs> Oud Wood. Uh, yeah, Oud Wood. I read it from Tom Ford. It's very uh, nice, un unique woody, uh, slightly sweet on the wood uh, fragrance. Really nice, quite distinctive. You, you can tell oud wood, it, you know, it's it's a nice fragrance. Like, So the no breakdown in this, there's no like kind of uh, thing on Fragrantica. So it's, it's oud, Brazilian rosewood, cardamom, sandalwood, vanilla, pepper, vetiver, Tonka bean and amber, quite a bit of stuff in there, but it is quite distinctive. I mean, the the overall smell of it is this like nice sweet, uh, or should I say like semi sweet woody fragrance. Uh, I think the sweetness is from the vanilla, but uh, it's really nice. It's very distinctive. It's 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 very good. So that's the original there. I've got two clones of it from two different houses. One is from. Pocket Sense is this one here, and it's basically just called Oud Wood. So let's go back to quickly Oud Wood. The, the price of this 100 mil is about 230 to 250 pounds, depending on where you get it from. So it's 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 expensive. Uh, so back to sorry, back to Pocket Sense here. So Pocket Sense do a 50 mil version for 34 pound 99. And then I've got one from Dua Fragrances, which is American, sorry. The Oud with Pocket Senses from Scotland, a uh, UK kind of, a uh, UK indie kind of, uh, it's a small house anyway, that's uh, Pocket Sense. Uh, and a guy, I think, who does the fragrances there is called Matt, really good perfumer. Uh, and then you've got an American copy, this is from Dua Fragrances, and this is American, and it's called Bois, Bois Oud. Oud. So there's that one. So uh, the first thing I want to say is on the original, the Tom Ford, the Oud Wood, is that the performance on this isn't it isn't great. It's not very good. It smells good, but the performance isn't great. I've been kind of wearing all three now for the last like two or three days I think it's two two days I've, I've been wearing them for and I've been having them on different bits of my skin and this I'm going to straight away tell you that the performance of both of these is about three times as good as this Monster kill, 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 kill. this the original Tom Ford is gone from my skin I mean this isn't going to be for everybody by the way it's gone from my skin in under two hours, which is disappointing. Very, very disappointing if you're paying £250 for 100 mil. That's disappointing. Uh, right, so, and then you've got 30 mil for the, for the Dua Fragrances one. That's about, sorry, did I not mention the price? That was £39.99. Against fifty mil for thirty four ninety nine, so a bit of a, a tiny bit of a price discrepancy between these two, so massive price discrepancy between the, the oud wood, not so much between these two here. So that doesn't really matter too much. So really, out of these two here, what does matter is the quality. I think of the clone and which one. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you which one I think is better anyway. So let's just quickly. Uh, put a bit on my skin, so I'll put the, the original oud wood on my elbow here. So that's there. Really, oh, it's really nice. It's a, a, it's a lovely scent. I really do like it. It's really, it's so dis. It's quite a distinct fragrance when you first smell it. It's just got that. It's something about it which is like it's got this like slightly sweet metallic kind of wood. Really, really nice. Yeah, uh, but like I says, with this one, it, it, two hours on my skin max. I got out of it. I mean, yesterday it was completely gone within under two hours. I was like, really? 
So, right, so we'll go for, so that's on the opening. Really nice quality. It, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's good. It's really good. It's really good. So, the Bois, the Bois Oud, back in your wrist. It's quite oily. Straight away, there's a difference. The, the, the uh, Oud wood, can't see it on my skin at all. I don't know whether you can see it on the camera there, but that's just from two sprays of the of the extract. It's this is perfect. This is extract, by the way, on the uh, the board, so that you can see the different. I don't know whether you can see the difference. There's a little bit of residue there. That's two sprays on my arm. You can see the oil on the extract. It's probably why it's much more the the strength of it. I think the woodwoods or the parfum, but that's the that's the strength of it. Smell wise, there's a little bit of, with the original as well, there's a little bit of earth there. A bit of earthy there, a, bit, a little bit of vetiver you can smell, which is nice. The, the Bois the Oud, the Dua one, doesn't have that, it doesn't have the initial straight away the same nice quality, which. Uh, which the oud was does that's already settled down. The, this kind of sweetness which you first got from the first blast is kind of gone now. It's look, it's still there, but it's not. It's not you know, not bouncing off my skin. Yeah, the duo one. It's a bit, it's a bit oily when you first put on your skin, so you're not really getting the smell of the fragrance straight away. So let's go to the pocket sense one. See how that goes on my skin. Mm, that's got a really that's got a really good opening that that opening on the pocket sense rivals the the original oud wood on the actual opening and it's pretty good it's pretty good it doesn't have the yeah, it's not the same quality as what the original oud wood is but it rivals it it's pretty good it's got you know 90% there, thereabouts, maybe a little bit less of the opening, but it's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good effort. Duo one, not so much, not it, it's a bit oily still on my skin. So, as far as the openings go, the the original is the, the best. It is the best. It's really good, and that it's kind of to be expected. I would have thought, you know, for 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 a clone house. And for the the ingredients that Tom Ford, pro, you know, will use, it'll just it'll just be better, you know. The pocket sense one, I would say, is is a second place, and then this is for the opens, by the way, and then the the Dua fragrances. Yeah, I would say that's that's coming in, you know, that's coming in last place. So let's just that's the opens. That's how the openings set out there. Like, so with the openings out of the way. Uh, going back to where I was where when I've been wearing them uh, in the past for how the mid turns out and the long longevity of the actual fragrance. So I'm going to put oud wood. That's its last because the longevity of it is just bad. It just doesn't last at all. Uh, the overall fragrance is nice, but it just becomes a skin scent very very quickly on my skin might be different for you it still has it still smells really good all even as a skin scent it smells good it does smell good i do like it i do like it i just don't want to pay 250 pound for a fragrance which lasts two hours right so out of these two how do they go for like better into the scent well oudwood has a slightly better opening than the oily Dua fragrances, but as this as it develops on your skin, the Dua overtakes the pocket sense version. Uh, when it does eventually, see how oily that is. I mean, the, the pocket sense one's quite oily as well, but nowhere near as oily as the Dua one. Uh, I'd be a bit worried about putting this on any kind of clothing. Yeah, as it settles on your skin, there's a is it is it. A slight better richness uh, and overall scent profile goes to the the Dua fragrance one it does have 
the initial blast of oud wood, which is that sweet oudy, it's not really, I wouldn't say it's oud. Uh, I don't really kind of get any oud from this fragrance. I get like a sweet vanilla with wood, uh, with that bit of vetiver in it as well. So that's kind of how I, how I, how I think of it, of, of, uh, of oud wood. So yeah, so the, the pocket sense one's really good. It does smell, gives you the overall smell of the oud wood. And for £35, it's really, really good value for money. It lasts a long time as well. So you get, I got yesterday, I got about five to six hours on my skin. And it was still projecting quite well on my skin. That was after a, a normal day's activity, and quite warm weather as well. Uh, the Dua fragrance one, it lasted, I would say about another couple of hours. I think it's to do with it being an egg extrait in the, you know, the oil basically. But uh, it was, as a scent, I would say the Dua one's slightly better as a scent. So it has a bit more, and as it, as it does dry on your skin when the oils eventually, eventually do settle on your skin, it's just a bit, it's just a bit more, it's just a bit more richness to it, and that's what gives it this slight edge. I would say on the on the on the uh, on the pocket sense version, but the pocket sense version's slightly cheaper, and you get more for it. So there's that to take into account. Thirty five pound for fifty ml, good. It smells great, and it's also got a good performance on it as well. Where the Dior ones, smaller bottle, slightly more money. So there's that to take into account as well when you when you're looking at the overall uh, the overall sense and whether you know the value for money, which you know you need to work out yourself. So yeah, so that's me. That's how I'd put them in order. So Dua, Pocket Sense, and then the original. Uh, opening wise, what did I go for? I would say that that that. So it kind of goes back to front. The opening's better on the original. Cherry the. Uh, Wood ones, sorry, the pocket scent ones, a little bit better than the duo one. That's just because of the, the uh, I mean, they're, they're, they're pretty close. All, all three of them are really good. Do you want to spend £250? Nah, nobody wants to spend £250 on something which doesn't last on your skin, do they? So, yeah, so, yeah, well, I hope that's. Of some kind of value if you were thinking about picking up a, a Oud Wood clone from Tom Ford. Uh, both of these are really good, really definitely worth checking out uh, if you're after something which has the same scent profile as Oud Wood. Smell pretty much the same but with much better uh, longevity in their uh, performance. Mm. Definitely. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace and blessings.